Oh, hey, so welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome the first time. I make new videos every week and today just happens to be a story from my life. Hello, plane. Usually I do stories on random Tuesdays. Is today Tuesday? No. Can we pretend it is? Yes. So this story brings me back just to the time of the dinosaurs. I think it was probably hold 2004. I was working at Lint Chocolate, which if you didn't know, is a delicious, amazing chocolate store. And I was a ship super, ship super, I was a I supervised ships. I was a shift supervisor. And I worked there with one of my BFFs from my hometown, Christina. Shout out to Christina and the llamas. Inside joke, don't worry about it. So it was just the two of us working. It was probably like a week or maybe even a couple of days before Christmas, I forget, it was very close. And Hanukkah had ended. This is an important part. So it's me and Christina working and this guy comes in and he's looking for the Hanukkah balls. We did have like Hanukkah themed chocolates. He goes, where are your Hanukkah balls? And we're like, uh, Hanukkah like ended a few weeks ago. And we were just like, oh, we're sorry, sir. There, we don't have any more. You know, we sold out of them a couple weeks ago. And he goes, I know you have them. Um, we don't, like, we're not harboring Hanukkah balls in the back, you know what I mean? Like, if we had them, we would want to sell them to you. So he storms out of the store, and then he runs back, like, immediately after. And he goes, can I speak to your manager? I mean, you know what's gonna happen next, right? I said, I'm the manager, sir. Um, he wasn't happy with that. I feel like that's always the case. <laughs> like whenever someone's asking for the manager, but you're already talking to the manager on duty, that just throws the whole world off balance. It's like, well, oh, th this isn't what I expected. He just kept on going. Like he was like, oh, well, my wife was just here and she said she got Hanukkah balls. She sent me back to the store and now I run back to work at the Hanukkah So he's super pissed. Like he's so mad. And me and Christina are just like bewildered because we can't, like, we can't help you bro. Eventually he gives up and he leaves for good this time. And me and Christina were just wondering like, how could his wife have just been here and bought Hanukkah balls when we know we haven't had any Hanukkah chocolate for weeks? So there were two other stores. We worked at the Bridgewater Commons store in uh, Bridgewater, New Jersey. There were two other stores in our area, one at Menlo Park Mall and one at Woodbridge Mall. If you're from central New Jersey, you know all these places. <laughs> so we called Menlo Park Mall and we were like, what, what if we just call them and ask them if they have any? Like, I wonder if he went to the wrong mall. So we called them and they were like, no, sorry, we haven't had, you know, Hanukkah merchandise for weeks because Hanukkah ended weeks ago. And we're like, oh my God, okay, well, it has to be Woodbridge. So Woodbridge was like one of the, I think, least busy stores. And so we called like kind of expecting like it had to be it, that that was the store that he went to. And for multiple reasons, one being that it was a slower store and they, it was possible that they had the Hanukkah balls, but also because our store was in the Bridgewater Mall and that store was in the Woodbridge Mall. So, so we call and we're like, hey, um, we were just wondering, like, do you guys have any Hanukkah merchandise? And she goes, yeah, we have some stuff left. And we just knew, like, at that moment. <laughs> His wife probably said Bridgewater by accident, or she said Woodbridge, and he just thought Bridgewater. <laughs> he was so rude to us and, like, just unkind for no reason. And we were perfectly nice. <laughs> that, like, it, it just felt like vindication. It was like, ooh, this is beautiful. It tastes so sweet. Sweeter than the Hanukkah balls themselves because we knew at that point that he drove to the completely wrong mall. Like, I still wonder to this day, did he go home and did his wife say, no, you idiot, I said Woodbridge. <laughs> I feel, what's what's like the good version of haunted? Like when you're haunted by a memory, but this is like a good thing. Like. I'm blessed by the memory 
of the Hanukkah balls. I have so many stories from Lint Chocolate and just like working in retail in general. If you guys wanna hear more stories from my retail life, please let me know. I know a lot of you work retail and I know that you're listening to this story and you're hashtag relating to it because everyone who has worked in retail has had some experience like this. Memories. So my question for you today is, what are some of your like crazy holiday retail stories that you can tell me in the comments below? Please let me know. I love reading your comments. I promise you I read them all. So I appreciate when I get some funny stories to give me the gigs, you know what I mean? My name is Nicole Fodi. You're watching Soundly Wake and I will see you in a few days with a new video. Pieces. Oh my God, I really wish I had some Hanukkah balls like to show you, just so you had the, the visual. I just bit my tongue when I said visual. Could you tell that? Rewind and let me know. Bye. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I'll...